Yeah, you know, at this point, I don't even mind if it's hot or cold. I just wish it'd make up its mind. Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to another fabulous installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. Growing there as I... As the video rolls, how y'all doing this morning? If you are in the greater Huntsville area, I hope everything turned out all right for you last night. We, boy, I tell you what, we had a breeze come through, at least here at the house. It was windy, but uh, yeah, everything's good. Hey, there's the office assistant sneaking in back over my shoulder. Hey, listen, if you're watching live or watching on the replay, I would appreciate it if you'd drop a comment down there like Joe just did this morning. And just say hi. Let me know that you're out there. Like you, Sally, because I know you watch all the time and you haven't said hi yet. So you got busted. Um, somebody you know that knows me told me you watch all the time, so... Time to say hi. All right. Anyway, uh, go ahead and drop your name down there. Say hi. Let me know that you're here. And if by the time this show is over, I'll make you a big promise here. I will promise to give you great content and uh, valuable information that you can use to make today better for you. And if I do that, here's all I'm asking in return. Share this video with somebody, and may, preferably your whole network, but somebody in your network that could benefit from it. All right, I've got my big cup of coffee here. I'm gonna get it refilled down at uh, Old Town Coffee in, I don't know, about an hour or so. Get down there, have my breakfast, get ready for the coffee shop show, comes up at nine o'clock today with my good friend, Eric. So also, if you happen to be in the area, you wanna come by, join us, be a, be a part of our live in-cafe audience. You can do that also. All right. So this week we've been talking, uh, kind of not entirely on purpose. Hey, Brooke, good morning. Not entirely on purpose, but a little bit on purpose. We've been, we've been talking about success. We started out the week talking about being busy. But uh, as I was doing my reading and whatnot this morning, came across a great quote by one of my favorites, Seth Godin. And uh, it kind of nailed the point. So I wanted to share that with you this morning. He says, successful people are the ones who are breaking the rules. Now, I want to think, I, I want to peel that back for just a minute because he, here's kind of the question behind the question. Who's making your rules? Think about that for just a minute, right? Who decides what your quota is? Who decides what your revenue goals are? Who decides what time you start work and stop work? Who makes the rules about what is considered successful? And I talked about this a little bit on the radio show yesterday, but we, we get this idea. Culturally, societally, we have been trained that there are a couple of things that indicate whether somebody's being successful or not. Namely, um, you know, things like job title, uh, how new is your car, who made your car, uh, your house, where your house is located, is it in the gated community? I mean, all these things are kind of, I call them the trappings of success because they are absolutely a trap. Right? If that is your definition of success, by all means, knock yourself out. But to pursue those things simply because somebody else will consider you successful? Who cares about somebody else? I mean, honestly... Think about it. Just, just think about this rationally for a minute. I'm going to get on a little bit of a soapbox this morning. Y'all got me worked up. So if you spend the better part of your professional career, your working life, trying to keep up with the Joneses or impress the Joneses, Joneses are the Joneses going to be at your bedside when it's time to wrap things up and put it all away? Nope. Well, probably not. I mean, your kids got married. No, I mean, you know, anyway, probably not. You're going to spend your entire working career trying to impress somebody that you don't even like. 
not even friends with. Because you want your car to look good when you're sitting at the at the traffic light. I mean, I like driving a comfortable car, but I don't like being in creating so much um, weight, some debt, the wet, the 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 weight of debt. I don't like to create so much uh, of that weight that now I'm trapped. That's the whole idea behind the trappings of success. You get a big house, you get a big mortgage payment. You get a new car, you get a new, a new car payment. Now you've created this situation where, and I hear it frequently, people will come to me and ask, you know, or say, I need to make X amount, um, I, I need to I need to create a business that will make X amount a month. Well, how, why do you need that much? Because that's what my bills are. Okay, let's look at your bills. Don't even think about that. It's like not even a consideration. It's by default. Yes, this is what I need. Now, nothing wrong with having comfortable things or nice things. But don't do it because somebody else wants you to. If you do pursue those things, do it because you want you to. All right? <clears throat> so, question behind the question today. Who's making your rules? I want you to think about just for a second. All right? Let's just assume for the sake of argument that you decided not to do any work today. Doesn't matter whether you're, I mean, employee, employer, business owner, business leader, whatever your circumstances may be, let's just decide, let's just pretend that you decide to do no work today. What's going to happen? I personally believe that uh, the best circumstance is one where you get to create the rules. Now, choosing to not do any work today does not come without any consequences. I'm not, that's not my, that's not my point, right? If somebody else is going to come down on you, is that a good thing? I don't know. Just putting that out there. Yeah. QBQ. That's a great, that's a great one. The question behind the question. Um, do I want to get into that? How much time do I have? Oh, I'm already over seven minutes. See, that's my so. That's what happens when I get on the soapbox. I'm going to make a note of that so we can talk about it uh, tomorrow, though. QBQ, the question behind the question. And actually, in engineering circles, they say you need to ask why. One, two, three, four, five. Five times to get to the real root cause. <clears throat> Sometimes I think I can get there quicker than that, but that's, that's a pretty good average. Five times. I don't know. All right, so that's it for today. Hey, uh, so my promise to you was that I'd give you good actionable content today. You ask yourself the question, right? Who's, who's making my rules? Because successful people are the ones who are breaking the rules. So who's writing your rules? You need to be the one creating your rules. If you go through that list, find things that somebody else is writing the rules on, just consider very carefully that you're okay with that relationship and that you're doing it for your own reasons and not for theirs. All right. Hey, uh, reminder, coffee shop shows coming up at nine o'clock. You can watch that here or at the coffee shop Uh, what else? Free coaching Friday is coming up Friday. Hey, also a reminder. If this, if, if our conversations here in the morning are helpful to you, I would suggest to you to head over to the website, tomregsby.com slash fast five tom rigsby.com slash fast five that is a completely 100 percent absolutely free um i think it's a five part five part series to help you on uh well so there's a bonus so there's six parts six part series to help you uh kind of get at these kinds of things that we've been talking about this week how to understand the outcome that you're trying to create create a plan around that, make room for success, uh, and those sorts of things. Head over and check that out, tomrigsby.com slash fast five, fast and the number five. That will get you to the right place. In fact, check this out. I can do really cool stuff um, 
with my software here. Yeah, just like that. And add that. Let's see what color it turns out to be. Look, oh, right across my nose. That's awesome. I'll put it over there so you can see it. TomRigsby.com slash Fast 5. Check that out. See if there's something useful there. I bet there will be. That's it for today. Well, that's it for this show. Coffee Shop Show at 9 o'clock. Otherwise, see you tomorrow on a brand new installment. And Sally, don't forget, put a comment in there. Say hi. New installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning tomorrow morning. You guys have a great Wednesday, a wonderful Wednesday, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.